That is the condition of how the church is ready for Christ's return and ready, and the people in our community come to know Christ and they're ready, is that we hold firmly to the word of God because it's under assault today, isn't it? It's under attack all the time and it continues to be true and stand strong. And we must hold firmly onto the word of God. Now, I love, I love what Paul says to his young pastor. I use this as well already. 2 Timothy 1, 13 through 14. He talks to Timothy in his letter and he says, hold on to the pattern of wholesome teaching you learned from me. A pattern shaped by the faith and love that you have in Christ Jesus. Through the power, how? Not on your own power. Not on your own power, Timothy. Not on your own power, my friends. Not on your own power, Ryan. Through the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us. Carefully guard the precious truth that has been entrusted to you. Carefully guard. Now, here's the thing. You can't change the truth, my friends. Neither can I. All we can do is guard it and keep it what it is by how we hold on to it, how we talk about it, how we teach what the truth is. You can never change the truth. You and I can't do that. That's what the world wants to do. They wanna change what the word of God says so that their lives can fit into the will of God still. But we can't do that. It is what it is. The only thing we can do is we can guard it. 